After weeks of wondering whether Johnny Depp's team would file an injunction to prevent Amber Heard from continuing her lies and further defaming Johnny, this is in black and white. The teams had returned to the court, and Camille is now planning to sue Amber Heard for her mistakes. So what happened behind closed doors when Camille Vasquez discussed suing Amber for perjury? Do you think Amber will be imprisoned? Keep watching to know more. When the trial concluded, the verdict was not final, and the judge set a date for the teams to meet with their respective parties, with the option of agreeing to drop some of the defamation claims from the verdict. The lawyers for Johnny Depp and Amber met in court on June 24th, and according to sources, Elaine sought to set a briefing schedule and other details for her client's proposed appeal. However, the judge told that Amber would have to pay an $8.35 million bond with a 6% interest rate per year before any appeal could be formally heard. Elaine reiterated that Amber does not have the funds to pay Johnny Depp or meet the bond. The judge ordered her to appear in court, and they were given 21 days to file an appeal. As a result, it was previously assumed that the two teams would reach an agreement. However, when asked if Johnny would agree to a settlement in which Amber agrees not to appeal the case in exchange for him waiving monetary damages, Ben suggested that Johnny forfeit the payment. He stated, Obviously, George, we cannot disclose attorney-client communications. Still, as Mr. Depp testified and as we both stated in our respective closings, this was never about money for Mr. Depp. So this was about restoring his reputation, which he has done. However, no settlement was reached when the lawyers returned to court on June 24th. And followers believe this had a lot to do with Amber continuing to spread lies and commit perjury in the first interview after the verdict. Amber stated, I'm afraid that no matter what I do, every step I take will present another opportunity. For this type of uh, silencing, which is what a defamation lawsuit is supposed to do, it's meant to take your voice. She also stated that her 2018 Washington Post op-ed was not about her relationship with Johnny, but about contributing to a larger cultural conversation about the Me Too movement. Amber also claimed that the jury was swayed when she stated, I believe the vast majority of this trial was played out on social media, and the jury is is not immune to that. Amber even called Camille during the interview to say she performed of a lifetime, and according to fans, such things, as well as Amber repeating her lies, caused Johnny Depp's team to avoid settling. When the teams reconvened in court, Savannah Guthrie called Amber for allegedly lying. When she told her in the first post-trial interview, I'm looking at a transcript that says he says you start physical fights, and you say you did start a physical fight. I can't promise you that I won't get physical again now that you're testifying, and you're just telling me today that you never started a physical fight, and here you are on tape saying you did as well. According to social media users, Johnny's team should not file an injunction, and Amber should be forced to pay. One fan also said that Amber did not allegedly lie in court, she actually lied in court, and she lied multiple times. If people are going to comment on what happened during the trial, they should at the very least watch the videos so they know what they're talking about. Another wrote that, In the trial, I saw Johnny's team sit there and let her lie and lie without intervening. Then she used her freedom against her. Nobody took away her right to speak. Nobody heard her voice. She lied repeatedly when freaking out about her right to speak. It was her own fault that she used her free speech to tell lies. She used her free speech to lie rather than tell the truth. Is it everyone's right not to believe her lies? The world is free to believe or not believe her. It appears what few believed her lies. She swore an oath not to lie and then lied her buttocks off. Perjury. One more added, Amber appears to be constantly attacking Johnny. She has already had her day in court. She needs to accept her defeat, shut her mouth, and spend some quiet time contemplating how her lies have resulted in her cancellation. He was willing to drop the restraining order against the boss and pay her more than she deserved because she was getting well-paid roles of her own. But she couldn't stop herself from making increasingly heinous accusations. She deserves to be bankrupt and barred from acting. She can work flipping burgers, waiting tables, or cleaning toilets while eating ramen noodles like the rest of us. Another user says, When AH redirected the funds to her, I knew the donation would not be paid. Did she violate the court order or did she obtain permission? On that, a user replied, Johnny, by forfeiting the money, you are encouraging AH to continue to destroy
destroying your reputation. Take the money and donate it to the Children's Hospital, as AH was supposed to do originally. One hilarious comment says, OMG, please, please, please. She just can't stop. She's obsessed and that's frightening. She's very frightening. But thank God she's destroying herself by trying to fix it. She's just burying herself more and more and more each time. Thank God for karma. It could come good if you're good. And if you're bad, oh boy, just wait how delicious the karma that's going to come for her will be. One more comment states, First and foremost, she has not been silenced. She lies over and over again in every medium she can find. Second, stop whining that JD's name wasn't mentioned in the op-ed, as if it wasn't intended for or about JD. She admitted on the witness stand in court to Camille, that's why I wrote the op-ed. AH keeps talking about JD and only JD. Who else is she holding accountable? Everything revolves around JD. We're sick of her blathering on and on about being silenced. We can only wish. What do you think about Amber Heard getting sued by Camille? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more.